What's up, YouTube? Hudson Fan 15. Got a multi package mail day, so let's get cranking with it. Uh, to, uh, 1999 Bowman BCCG 10. Tim Hudson rookie card. Got this for the minimum bid plus shipping. Always good when that happens. Uh, next up from 2007. 2007 Ultimate Collection Jersey Auto 9 of 14. Tim Hudson. Getting uh, a bit frustrated with the eBay dudes. Gotta tell you. Um, just not even not even gonna get into it with, with, with this guy or anything, but uh, it's getting a bit ridiculous. Uh, next up, the great Hambino one two three, Mr. Avery. Uh, he talked about putting this set together, and after a short period of time, decided against it. Contacted me with the card, and I gladly bought it off him. 2007 Upper Deck Black, 46 to 75, the Pro Prodicus, Prodicus, something like that. Uh, auto. So Avery, I appreciate it as always, boss. Great shipping, you see, uh, with the magnetic and all that good stuff. Um, always a pleasure dealing with him. If you are interested in anything he has for sale, for trade, ever, I give him my full, complete, and unwavering endorsement. Um, great guy, and uh, hopefully I get to make it to one of these White Plains shows one of these days so we can meet up again. And finally, Lon LJ Maya. Always good to uh, deal with Lon. This is the uh, second time bought something from him, and uh, I've been thrilled each time. He sent a, a whole stack of stuff here that I bought as as a lot. Uh, first up is a uh, 2001 Fleer Tradition Turn Back the Clock jersey. And got a. Um, 2002 Upper Deck Ovation Futures jersey. Then uh, 39 out of 150 Vlad Guerrero Tim Hudson Sweet Threads dual jersey. I tried to buy one of those on eBay and it got jacked up in shipping. Uh, another one of those eBay dudes. Uh, 116 out of 225 Jason Kendall and Tim Hudson from Sweet Reflections. I gotta tell you, some of the patches from this set, and Avery had some of these before, uh, it's a really nice set. The dual autos, there's a lot of Kevin Euclid, there's a lot of David Wright, there's a there's some 86 Mets dual autographs. There's a lot of good, good hits out of this product. Now granted, there's some stinkers because we're talking about a five-year-old product, so these guys are, you know, failing and, you know, going out of baseball, but... There's there's some stuff in there that's really holding its value. I'm, I'm I'd I'd be interested in, in doing some kind of break with that. Uh, and then finally the main card, uh, 2004 Skybox Autographics uh, on on card presumably auto 12 of 169 Tim Hudson auto. Now this is one of the earliest autos of his that I've ever seen that's gone to the condensed first name format. Previously, I had only seen 05s to where he had not done the I and the M distinctly. And I'm going to actually make it a point the next time I go through and sort cards into my PC boxes to, to, to check to see when this transition actually occurred to, to from the original elongated signature to this condensed one. It's interesting and, and I'd be interested for anybody else to tell me what are some other players that have in some fashion changed their autograph at any point during their signing career. And I, I remember Ahmad Bradshaw was a big deal because he changed his to like I think it was AB44 or something ridiculous and then he just stopped signing. Um, I remember something about Chris Johnson as well, but somebody can refresh my memory on that one. Anybody else who has changed their signature, like Tim Hudson? I'll be interesting one. As always, thank you, L.J. Maya, the Green Hambino, 
one, two, three, Avery. Always appreciate it. Link will be in the description box for each of those fine gentlemen. All right, YouTube. Peace.